Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and in this video, I want to talk about one of our core values at Self Publishing School called Fail Fast, Fail Forward, Fail Often. Now, here at Self Publishing School, we believe that the fastest way to learn and the fastest way to grow is to fail. If you're not failing, you're probably not going fast enough. Now, uh, this is one of my favorite metaphors. So I'm a big snowboarder. I like to snowboard a lot. Uh, and this is my philosophy when I'm snowboarding, is if I'm not falling, I'm probably not going fast enough. Uh, and so I know that if I'm not falling, it's because I'm playing it safe. And I'm actually you know, kind of starving myself from learning and from growth by not pushing the envelope. So we believe that the best way to learn, the best way to grow is to fail. Now, the problem is that most companies and most places in general and society in general, failure is not encouraged, it's actually discouraged. So, you know, you grow up, you make a bad grade, it's discouraged. This is a bad thing to fail. But out in the real world, that's not how it works. Because when we fail, we learn. And when we fail, we grow. The early Facebook motto was done is better than perfect. Uh, and this is a motto that we use for a bunch of our students. So when it comes to helping people write the first draft of their book, we always talk about how done is better than perfect. So when you get the rough draft done, you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel and you start to believe that this is possible. Done is better than perfect. So it's better to get the rough draft done and then say, oh man, there's a bunch of things I can prove, then keep working on those things. And we always talk about how most people know someone who has five perfectly written chapters in their unfinished book. So we want to help our students get beyond that and get their rough draft done. So done is better than perfect. Now the only problem here is that this is a huge, huge, huge adjustment for people when they come onto the self-publishing school team. So if you're new to the self-publishing school team, just know that we're gonna push you to fail more. And I can't tell you how many times in an employee evaluation and feedback and things like that, we say, hey, fail. We trust you. There's autonomy. We're gonna give you a goal. We're gonna give you resources. Go. Fail fast, fail forward, fail often. And most people, you know, it's easy to understand that intellectually, <laughs> but then you get in there and it's like, oh man, I don't know if I should do this. Let me ask for approval. Let me wait. And that slows down innovation. We do not want that. So I would rather you be decisive, try something new and fail, then hold back and say, oh, I need to wait for approval, be timid and wait and slow things down. So just always default towards action and default towards being decisive. And if you fail, that's no problem. We're gonna celebrate that. Now I've got another video that's the I intend to video. If you haven't already, definitely check out that video. It's all about the I intend to or the leader leader model. Um, so that's kind of our approach to failure and also our approach um, to defaulting towards action. So coming up with I intend to blank uh, and then try that thing. And if you fail at that thing, that's totally okay. Now there's a difference between successful failure and failing because of poor execution. And then, you know, this is kind of the, the couple of these core values that kind of clash, which fail fast, fail forward, fail often, and best is the standard. It's often I get asked, hey, how do we know? What's the difference between these things? And when should I be failing? And when should I be making something best is the standard? Now, the difference here is that fail fast, fail forward, fail often, that applies when you're trying something new, when you're pushing the envelope, when you're innovating, when you're testing and all those things. This isn't an excuse for poor execution. Execution. So fail fast, fail forward, fail often is not, I didn't prep for this thing. I didn't prepare for this stage. I didn't come with notes to the sales call. I didn't, uh, you know, dot my I's and cross my T's with this project. I didn't take extreme ownership, accountability, all those things. It's not any of that. If it's poor execution and the thing fails because of poor execution, absolutely. <laughs> that's not going to be okay. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's, this is absolutely, you know, you're going to get reprimanded for that. There's going to be feedback. You need to execute better. And that's best as a standard. But if you're pushing the envelope, if you're trying new things, if you're going outside of our comfort zone, testing things, especially if it makes the customer experience better and it's something that's on behalf of our customers, we're always going to encourage that. So that's successful failure. And this is a concept that was popularized by the Bezos letters. Uh, and Jeff Bezos is really, really smart when it comes to this sort of thing. And this is one of the fundamental principles that they used to build Amazon. And the funny thing is, I didn't even know that this was a principle that they used to build Amazon. And that's always been a principle that we've used to build self publishing school and then recently found out that those two things are super similar. So we're in good hands when we fail and I encourage that keep doing it. Now what I want to end this video with is scroll below this video, uh, comment below. I want you to celebrate your failure. 
All right, we're gonna start this whole process of celebrating failure by commenting below. What's one failure you've had, you know, the most recent one or kind of a crazy one that you remember that actually was a good thing and you've learned from it? Let's celebrate that. So comment below this video, what's one failure that you have recently? I'd love to hear it. I can't wait to read and respond to every comment. Click the subscribe button as always, and I'll see you in the next video.